Okay, in this Premiere tutorial, let's talk about using some basic transitions. So here in this scene, Brock Mellows gets punched. He gets punched in the face, and he's going to get knocked out. And I created a little space of black here between these two shots. We'll just scrub through the timeline, drag in the playhead. You can see he's falling, and then he comes back. And there's the blurry shot that we did before. So what I want to do is use kind of a, a more special transition instead of just a regular crossfade. Let's go over here to our video transitions. I want to go to dissolve and this transition here that says dip to white, let's use this transition. So I'm going to click and hold down on the dip to white and I'm going to drag and drop it here onto the clip and then I'm going to let go. So we put the transition on here but we may need to render this, so I'm just going to highlight the clip because where it's green here, it's kind of holding on to an older render file. And I'm just going to go to Sequence and I'm going to say Render Selection. And there we go. Now it's actually showing us what the transition's doing. So if we back this up, we play through. You can see the white out. And then it fades to black, right? If I double click on it, Notice it pops up and it says that it's worth 18 frames. Now if I try to make this transition longer, it's probably not going to work because if you look here, you can see the transition is pretty much the length of the entire clip. So if I were to say type in 25 and press OK, it's not going to do it. So if I double click on it, look, see how it's staying? It's stuck at 18 frames. That's because the clip is only 18 frames long. You follow what I'm saying here? So the clip has to be longer itself if we want the transition to be longer. All right, so here we go. Get the white out. Now we go into the black, and then we're going to come back over here where he's waking up from being knocked out. But we don't want that to cut on. We want that to just fade on. So there's two ways we could do it. We could right click here on the cut and we could say apply default transition. So how do I know what the default transition is in Premiere? Well, if we come over here and you see the yellow kind of stroke around the cross dissolve transition, that's a visual cue to tell us that that is the default transition. So I'll right click here on the cut and I'll say apply default transition and then we're going to have to render again, so I'm going, to, I'm going to lasso the clip like so and select it. And then I'm going to go to Sequence and I'm going to say Render Selection. And then the fade actually works. So I'll press the minus key to zoom out, play it back. Now you can see the cross dissolve working. So if I want the cross dissolve to be longer, I double click on it. Right now it's set to one second by default. Let's say that I want it to last longer, a longer fade up from black. I'll type in 300 for three seconds and click OK. And now you can see how the transition gets longer. I might have to render this again, so I'll select the clip. I'll go to Sequence and I'll say Render Selection. And there we go. There's a longer fade up. Alright, so that's the basics of working with transitions inside of Adobe Premiere.